G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and in this video we're going to be talking about digital tablets. Now this video hasn't been requested as a tutorial or anything like that, but in nearly every single video I upload there are a lot of people asking about tablets, about uh, what ones to get or what do I use or you know recommendations or problems, all that sort of thing. And so we're just going to go through the most commonly asked questions that I get here today and uh, hopefully I'll be able to answer them as best as I can. So these questions that I get are usually something like this. What is a digital tablet? <clears throat> what digital tablet do you use or do I use? Who should get one and which tablet should I get? And finally, how much do they cost? So first question, what is a digital tablet? A digital tablet is a replacement for your mouse and in particular, it's useful for doing artistic work. Now, there are some people, <coughs> Louis Castanet, <coughs> who will always use a mouse and somehow make it work. But to be completely frank, uh, even someone like Louis from Newgrounds, who uses a mouse for his artwork and does an amazing job, uh, has carpal tunnel and the doctor tells him not to and he's just a stubborn asshole. Yes, Lewis, you are. Just face it. Um, but that aside, look, uh, what is a digital tablet? It is a replacement from using this kind of motion and the wrist in uh, drawing, essentially, to using one of these. To so using a pen and having a much more natural feel when drawing. All right. So there are two kinds of tablets. There's the kind which I call a pad tablet. I don't know what the official name for them is, but it, it's like a pad, a plastic pad that you use one of these Wacom pens or a digital pen to draw on while looking at the screen. So you're not actually looking at the pad you're drawing on. It's kind of like a mouse, but with a pen instead. And uh, it can actually be a bit disconcerting to use at first because it's it feels a bit weird and it at least takes a day, if not a week or so, to get used to, but it's still very, very much better than using a mouse. Uh, and then the second type of tablet is a screen tablet, an LCD tablet, and uh, that is essentially like drawing directly onto your monitor. In fact, that is what it is. Your tablet is a monitor. You can open the programs in it just like you would in a monitor, but you, uh, you calibrate it so that it matches with the pen and you draw on it and it's all kind of wonderful. So our next question is, what digital tablet do I use? Uh, in 2004 to 2006, I used one of those pad tablets. Now I didn't get a name brand one like a Wacom or anything like that. I just got a cheap one and I think it cost me about 50, 60 bucks and it lasted me a couple of years. But this is why I recommend always getting Wacom because I got a cheap one and there's no support. Uh, if I had driver issues, yeah, good luck dealing with that. If I had any kind of complication or problem, I, there were no forums with lots of people who share the same problems or, or concerns as me because I had a cheap name brand tablet that didn't have support. So that's why I always recommend to go a known name brand. Now Wacom isn't the only one, but it is the most trusted one with the most support. So I always recommend Wacom and frankly, they're just fantastic. So their quality of product is less likely to screw up. Uh, in 2006 to 2012, I had kind of a low tier LCD tablet. Now I had saved up. I got this when I was first in, when I was in high school. I think around year uh, year eleven or twelve. So I was finishing up high school, and I knew I wanted to do this. I had been doing this for years, and I enjoyed doing it. And I knew I wanted to do some professional stuff. So I saved up, and I bought a uh, a low tier sort of uh, digital Wacom screen tablet. And this was a, a good leap above the pad tablet I had, first of all, because it was a Wacom and it had support, but second of all, because I was looking at what I was drawing as I was drawing it, and that does make a world of difference, and it was very comfortable. And then last year, I replaced that tablet because of a spill of water on my desk. I broke the pen, and as you can imagine, the tablet I got in 2006 was no longer being manufactured in 2012, and the pens are unique to the tablet. You can buy a new pen, but it has to be... Uh, for that model tablet and mine wasn't in manufacture anymore so I thought you know what why not go top of the line so I got the best uh, tablet on the market and it's fairly easy to justify when it is your day job and I spend every single day on my tablet so I got a Wacom 24 HT which is still up there 
and keeping in mind that I think this thing alone, the fact that I got my high definition uh, Wacom LCD tablet is the reason I started this tutorial channel. Aside from the fact that I'd wanted to do it all, all along, I'd always wanted them to be high resolution and high quality. So you can kind of thank a spill of water for the fact that you're watching this video right now. So the next question is, who should get one and which tablet should I get? Now, the answer to both of these questions kind of interlock. Who should get one? Where This is an artistic sort of channel, so I'm going to answer this question for artists. You should get a digital tablet if you plan on having an, an intense hobby at the least. So if you're doing a lot of drawing or animating, uh, or you plan to, to progress, uh, to the point where you feel like you'll be doing this at least a couple of times a week I think you should consider getting a tablet because they're relatively cheap and we'll go into the prices in a moment But they're actually for the price that you're paying even for a low-end tablet Well worth the time that you save and the frustration that you eliminate by using a tablet So which tablet should you get you should at least get a low-end pad tablet like a bamboo if it's a hobby. If you enjoy doing this and you plan on doing this every now and then, you don't have to be a professional, but if you want to up the quality of your work, I highly recommend getting a tablet. Now, in terms of if you should get a pad tablet or an LCD tablet, I think, uh, it, first of all, if you have money, go for what you have your budget for. But if you're limited in your budget, um, it's it's very much limited by what you intend to use it for and if it's just a hobby You don't need to go more than a pad tablet. There are lots of very talented animators I know who still use that Looking at the screen pad tablet drawing system uh, but then again my transition from pad tablet to LCD tablet was a very, very relieved jump. Like I needed that. I love looking at what I'm drawing as I draw it. So I recommend getting an LCD tablet if you plan on doing things at least semi-professionally. So if you plan to do some things for pay, that's where you can start to justify, well, if I'm paying a bit more, I'm also getting a bit of money for the work I'm doing. So if you're doing a little bit of client work, maybe one client job a week, or even getting a sponsorship every now and then, I'd consider getting an LCD tablet because they're again they're getting relatively cheap and they're very very useful and finally our very last question is how much do they cost this varies from country to country and these prices are mostly Australian but that's pretty close to American prices anyway uh, so I've divided them each into secondhand and brand new reason why secondhand I think you should always have that as an option because if you want to get kind of a, a, a low tier uh, LCD tablet they can end up costing as much as a brand new pad tablet and I think they're better so that's something to think about uh, a low tier to high tier pad tablet second hand can cost between $50 and $200 go on eBay or something like that and uh, and that's a great price to pay for a bamboo or a small intuos uh, brand new $150 to about $800 but therefore the very large intuos is brand new um, so our low tier LCD tablets these are about 14 to 17 inch tablets usually uh, kind of a 4 by 6 aspect ratio I think that's the uh, aspect ratio Anyway, uh, yeah, they can cost secondhand $500 to $1,000 and uh, brand new $700 to about $1,800. Um, they're things like your 12 UXs, the Wacom 12 UXs can cost a bit more. And then finally, our HD range, our really nice large uh, monitor tablets, secondhand $1,500 to $2,000 and then brand new $2,000 to $4,000. Now, once again, if you're doing high level professional work and you're doing this constantly, like my Myself, for example, I'm using my digital tablet every day for everything. Client work, personal projects, YouTube channels, art, just everything. And so it was very easy for, for me to justify that. And thankfully, I had insurance money come in because my tablet was no longer functional. It was like, yay, I could pitch that towards getting my new tablet too. So that helped to make the choice easier. Anyways, I hope that this guide has been a bit simple for you. Again, if you have more questions, leave them in the comments uh, section below. I won't be able to get to all of them, but help each other answer your questions because I'm sure more than just me have the answer. Uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you later. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoy my videos. You can download the reference files from this tutorial by clicking the link in the description. And remember to share any art, animation, or game you make on Newgrounds.com. Until next time, see you later.